guys, Uncle Jamie here, back with another beer review, and this time it's one from the southeast. And this, dare I say, brewery, um, and I dare say there's a bit of debate as to what this is all about, but SEB Brewing is literally under one mile from my very house. Um, it's the closest brewery uh, to me, but they do contract brew, like only contract brewing. Um, we're going to have this beer, Ad Astra, um, East Kent Golings or EKG Pale Ale, 4%. And let's see if this zooms in. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. A classy pale ale using East Kent Goldings in a modern way. A little bit in the boil and heavily in the whirlpool and dry hop. Unusual uh, use of this noble hop and a sessionable southeast inspired beer. If we look there, we've got some wheat, uh, haven't got any oats, uh, wheat and barley, and obviously East Kent Goldings. Tears, if I turn it that way, 4%. On the ABV and the can, especially with this little sort of round dude, that's a little sort of smarty or whatever. I even like the can, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Now, I don't know this for a fact, so please don't say that I told you so, but you can. I'm speculating. I think uh, Ad Astra Brewery is not actually a brewery. I think this is Beer 52's uh, actual gypsy brewing, and apparently they do brews in lots of different places in the world, so Germany, for example, etc., etc. Obviously, SEB, which is just down the road from me. But I think the people that own or run Beer 52, I think this is the brewing side of their business. Prove me wrong, prove me wrong, I dare you. But that's what I think. Um, but I don't care because East Kent Goldings, obviously I live in Kent. Goldings, I actually love. My favorite hops, maybe. I do like the American hops too. Um, especially things like Cascade and Centennial is probably my actual favorite. But East Kent Goldings is definitely up there as well. Now, dear viewer, you're probably wondering where I have been, because I haven't done that many um, beer reviews of late. And it's because I've taken my new moniker. Wow. We have a little kind of bit of explosion there. And this has been in the fridge for a good two or three days at least. Um, where have I been? Well, I have been drinking a lot of beer, um, but I've been doing my new kind of role and it's not a paid role um it's a volunteering expedition for the local camera society or group um as a uh, yeah one of their uh, now what do they call it beer judging panel beer tasting panel uh, for the the county of kent so i'm a new beer taster beer judge so it's stuff i do here actually writing it down and doing it properly um got about a finger's head on not that i don't do things properly on youtube but as you well know um uncle john's channel is kind of less produced um it is what it is a lot of the time we're doing one hit wonders that kind of stuff oh yeah look at that lovely head kind of just off white i would say and bubble wise, I can see them, but lovely big. I'm going to focus on the bubbles, is it? Lovely big. Come on. Not going to focus. Damn you. Anyway, lovely big um, carbon dioxide bubbles. This is not a nitrogen beer, of course. Ooh. So. I am getting that kind of peachy thing, but I'm also getting some malt on the nose. 
little bit of sweetness too, a little bit of yeastiness too. But it smells quite smooth. Uh, the wheat in there, I think, is going to uh, give a little bit of kind of creaminess, a little bit of smoothness to edge things out. Um, we shall see, dear viewer, what we get. Nothing too outrageous on the nose, though. And I say, I say peach, but maybe there's a hint of kind of um, marmalade type thing. Maybe a little bit of juiciness. Who knows, dear viewer, who knows? And thank you once again for being here, for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing and you'll never miss any more reviews. And click like down below. Do it now, do it now, dear viewer. Cheers and beers. Mm. Instead of hoppiness up front, we're getting a bit of sweetness. Um, so this one's maybe more about the kind of malt, which is weird considering it's a, um, a one hop beer, a single hop beer, shall we say. Um, meant to promote the hop, that's what it should be doing. But um, yeah, I'm getting more malty kind of taste. There is some uh, bitterness there, but this is more on the sweet side than the hoppy side. Maybe if this wasn't, if this hadn't been in the fridge, and the people from camera are probably turning over in their grave. Why did you put it in the fridge? Well, you saw it almost exploded all over me. Um, if I had left it out, it definitely would have done. Hmm. There's definitely that peach thing going on. Um, Maybe a real slight hint of kind of other kind of more juicy, like ne nectarine. You know, it's those kind of, are they really citrus fruits? I'm not convinced, but let's say they are. Um, but things with stones in the middle. Um, cherry, perhaps, very, very light but I would say peach overall and, and maybe a little hint of um yeah a little hint of orange barley sugar that kind of thing hmm now I know I have been swirling I definitely have but look at that there is definitely some sort of lacing chasing the beer down the glass which is always a nice thing to see um it's interesting to have a beer which um isn't fundamentally new world tops like you know yakima valley um and, and australia new zealand that kind of place so this is definitely in kent brewed in kent by what i'm assuming to be a scottish kind of recipe Maybe that's where the sweetness comes in. Who knows? Um, mm, really nice brew. But anyway, yes, as I was saying, I'll wait, for, I'll wait for a little bit and then I'll go back in for my final kind of sip. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to dial in um, my tasting from a kind of more judgy type um, place so we've got weird things like astringency and sulfur um, to kind of detect um, along with things like caramel and not just sweetness but actual kind of caramel very strange don't want to give the game away too much because I don't want to <laughs> don't want to tell you exactly what I'm judging at you but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to anyway but I, I've told you a few of the criteria there but um, they're the tougher ones um but yeah the tasting if you ever get a chance to do um 
some actual tasting training, especially one with where they put off flavors into a, they, I think it was, they used Spitfire uh, by Shep and Neem, and they put lots of different off flavors or potentially off flavors, because some of them, maybe they're not off. Um, and all of the beers, because it was the same beer, it was absolutely ridiculous how um, different the same beer can taste. Really opened my eyes, and I would advise you, if you ever got the opportunity to do it, definitely do that kind of training. Even if you don't want to be a professional judge or anything like that, um, do something, a sensory tasting event. Really, really cool. I liked it. Cheers. Cheers, Chris. Don't know if he'll be watching it, but he arranged it. So cheers, my dude. It's really interesting because East Kent Goldings, they called it a noble hop. Uh, on the back of here, I just realised I didn't do a a picture. Damn it! Maybe I can do one now. Do one of those. I might get a better picture from somewhere else, but we'll we'll see. You know this already, dear viewer, because you've seen the thumbnail. Um, East Kent Goldings is a reasonably fruity hop. Um, different from one of the other. What's the other? Fuggles, I guess, is the other really traditional uh, hop in the UK. Um, but they are quite different. Fuggles is more earthy, more bitter, more old school. Um, and Goldings does have that fruity kind of thing going on. I'd be very interested to see what um, these new thiol yeasts, what they would do um, with Goldings hops, especially East Kent Goldings, because that's my patch of the world. You never know if I ever get my home brewing set up working properly again. Um, I might even try some experiments. <laughs> anyway, cheers and beers to you all, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back. I haven't disappeared anywhere. I will be doing more beer reviews. And guess what? They'll be coming up <laughs> real soon.